when air masses meet, a boundary forms between the air masses. The masses don't mix, but instead one mass pushes the other along. This boundary is called a front. A cold front forms when a cold air mass pushes a warm air mass. Because the cold air is denser than the warm air, the warm air is pushed up quickly. As the warm air rises quickly, the moisture in the warm air cools and condenses. The water vapor changes to tiny drops of liquid water. Clouds form as a result of this cooling. The clouds that form are usually cumulus clouds. The size of the clouds depend on the amount of moisture present in the warm air mass. Precipitation is often heavy along a cold front. It may not last long, but it is generally a heavy rain with increased wind speed. Thunderstorms are common along cold fronts. During the winter, snowstorms and blizzards may occur along a cold front depending on the temperature differential and the amount of available moisture. A warm front occurs when a warm air mass pushes a cold air mass. The warm air moves up and over the cold front. Notice that the movement of the warm air over the cold is at a much more gradual slope than at a cold front. The warm air does not rise as fast as it does in a cold front, so the clouds that form are different. They are thinner and spread out over a greater area. These clouds are called stratus. These high clouds are a sign that a warm front is approaching. A warm front moves through an area much slower than a cold front. The clouds associated with warm fronts are thick low clouds that produce a steady light rain. This may last for a day or more. Sometimes the boundary between a cold and warm air mass doesn't move. In that case it is referred to as a stationary front. Sometimes when a cold front is overtaking a warm front, the warm front is actually lifted above the ground. This may create drastic temperature changes and violent weather. This type of rare front is called an occluded front. So air masses moving from areas of high pressure to areas of low pressure bring weather from one location to another. Air masses take on the characteristics of the areas over which they form. As air masses make contact with each other, warm and cold fronts are formed. Clouds and precipitation may result.